Hey fam, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be finally doing my first impression slash review of the Fenty Beauty Collection by Rihanna. I am so excited for this. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this video up, but I've just had a lot going on this week. But now I'm home. I'm so excited to crank out these videos. I have so much coming, you guys, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start. I'm going to tell you guys about what I ordered, and then we're going to get straight to trying it all on. There's a ton of stuff here, so I'm not even sure how I'm going to like divvy this up yet, because I definitely want to try everything. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So to be perfectly honest, I placed two orders. I like placed my first order and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if that was enough, which is like a horrible way to think about makeup, right? Like I don't have enough. Hello. I totally have way too much to begin with, but I just really wanted to try a little something from everything in this collection, if you know what I mean. So let's start with the foundations. I first ordered one shade and I was worried I didn't get the correct shade. So I ordered an additional shade. So I have two shades of foundation. Um, I bought both the 140 and 180. So 140 is of course the lighter and 180 is a little bit deeper. It's a little bit more yellow. I think I was correct to go with the 180. I don't remember which one I ordered first. First off, just love the packaging. It is so high-end looking. It looks so fancy to me. They're in these gorgeous frosted glass bottles. I just love how they look. I also really like that they're kind of more tall and slender. I feel like they're going to store a little bit easier because they're just like thinner. I don't know. Small detail, but I like it. I also picked up the primer, and this is the one thing I wasn't sure if I needed it or not, but I was like, okay, I kind of want to try them together, both the foundation and the primer. Next up, I bought two of the Fenty Beauty Matchstick Trios. I got the light and the medium, I believe. So the light comes with linen, amber, and starstruck for the sticks, which are these little guys right here. And I gotta just say, I know it's such a small touch, but I love that these are magnetized. They magnetize together and I just love that little trio it creates. It's just so cool. Like, look, I can just hold one and they stay together. I don't know why, I'm like easily impressed maybe, but I think that is a really cool touch. I also love the coloring of the packaging. It's such a muted beige, it's really pretty. And this is what they look like with their caps off. So the bottom one here is linen. The middle one is called Amber, and the highlight here is called Starstruck. So I think that's a very nice shade range for light skin. And then as I said, I also picked up the medium tone. So the top one here is called Bamboo. The middle one is called Mocha and the blush on the bottom is called Trippin'. I also bought two of the blush sticks that were being sold individually. The more red toned or kind of grapefruity toned is called Redick, and then the orange one is called Chili Mango, and they are also magnetized so you can like do that. It's super cute. I think that'll be so nice for if you're throwing them in your purse or whatever. It'll be easy to find and grab because they're just always linked together. I then bought two of the powdered highlighters. The first one here is Metal Moon, which looks like this. It just looks white, so I don't know how it's going to look on the skin. I'm very intrigued by this one. I almost didn't get it because I was like, I don't think I'm going to like a white highlighter, but I don't know how it goes on. So I'm, I'm interested, but I don't know how it'll be. I'm iffy on it. Do you know what I mean? And then I also grabbed this highlighter duo in the shade Lightning Dust and fire crystal there's two of them in there which again I think is a really nice touch you kind of get a little more bang for your buck of course they're gonna be smaller in amounts because there's two different shades but it's nice to have the option for one shade or the other and then this is the last thing that I purchased it's also something I was a little on the fence about I didn't know it's just a gloss to me and it, honestly in photos I didn't think it looked that magical but I kind of wanted to try something of everything from her collection so this is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the shade I can't even read the bottom of this so this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. So yeah, you guys, that's what I purchased. Let's go ahead and start trying this stuff on eye mix. Let's start off with priming, of course. So again, this is the Soft Matte Primer. Get some on the back of my hand. Of course, it always takes a few pumps. Oh, there we go. I don't notice a smell, which is nice. I was just talking about this recently in my Too Faced video. I just um, did my first impressions of the new Too Faced collection, the Peaches and Cream. So if you missed that, I'll link it down below. I do want to warn you, people thought my audio completely sucked in that video, and you guys were not wrong. Like, it, there was a horrible echo, because I left my door open on accident. I can't believe I did that. I know not to do that. So there was a bit of an echo in that video. I apologize if it ruined it for you. But anyway, I was just talking about how sometimes, you know, scented foundations, scented primers can kind of be annoying for your skin. Like, Skin doesn't love fragrance. So I am relieved that I don't smell any harsh scent in this primer. My skin does feel primed. It wasn't like a light lotion type where sometimes you'll put on primers and it just kind of absorbs right into your skin and I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna prime much. It's not doing anything. This one I can feel not a tackiness, but I do feel a substance on the skin that I feel like the foundation would grab towards easily. 
So interesting. Next up, let's try the foundation. So like I said, I think the 180 shade is going to fit me better, but I'll do a little bit of this on one side so you can kind of see the difference. Oh, it's a little more liquidy than I expected. It's kind of like drizzling. It's kind of like slipping off. Wow. So I'm gonna get some of that on my Sigma Beauty 3D HD sponge, and I'm gonna apply that on this side of my face. Yeah, that is much too light for you, Shay. Darn it. Maybe I'll give this to my little sister because she's so fair. But right off the bat, the coverage is crazy. I think this coverage looks amazing. I mean, that was only one pump, maybe a pump and a half. I haven't even used all of it. There's so much left on my hand and it just covered up so well. I feel like it is grabbing to that primer well. And I do believe it's a soft matte finish primer because though this foundation looked a little dewy to me on my hand, the minute it's going on my skin, it, it is really kind of matte, mattifying. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it's, it's going a little more matte. Not too matte, but it, it is a soft matte, so I think that is correct. Oh, Shay, you dinkus, this is much too light. Uh, well, now you know, if you're any fairer than me, you might like this one. That coverage is flawless, though. Like, can we just say that is flawless? I'm gonna switch to the 180 shade now. Damn, again, I only grabbed one pump, but that is like a lot of product. Or at least it's really like spreading very nicely. It's covering up my acne right away. I'm gonna kind of carry over onto this side of my face. Just kind of even that out. We know what it looks like now. I feel like it's even covering up my under eye area so well. Oh my gosh, I'm way, okay, I gotta be honest, I'm way more impressed with this foundation than I thought I would be. Okay, this coverage, you guys, is unreal. This is ridiculous. I am so pleased. And I really feel, I mean, it's not like I can physically see if the primer made a difference, but it feels like it did. It really did feel like the foundation just grabbed to it. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. Oh, I think that is flawless. I do feel like it dries down pretty quickly, so you might just wanna be aware of that. But all in all, I think that was great. I mean, one pump and it just provided so much coverage for my entire face. It's pretty ridiculous. I think that is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love how it looks. And though the one side is too light for me, I think I can kind of get away with it, especially once you apply your powder and your bronzer. Sometimes it's, you know, you fix it. I'm curious to know if you guys have tried this foundation, what you thought of it. Let me know in the comments down below, how did it wear? I'm gonna up update you guys after I wear this all day and let you know how it lasted for me. Um, but I do love just first impressions how it looks on the skin. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous foundation. I love that it gave me the coverage on my acne, but I can still see some of my little freckles and just beauty marks kind of popping through. It's like a great coverage in my opinion. So next I want to try the light trio here, the contour and highlight trio. So I'm going to start with the contour, which is in the, oops, sorry, that was the magnets. The contour is in the shade Amber, like I mentioned previously. It looks like this. There's a nice weight to the stick, which is nice. Um, I'm going to line this on the side of my nose, which I'm not always the best at nose contouring, so this makes me so nervous, you guys. Like, when I do this, I'm like, oh my gosh. Especially with creams, I'm just like, oh, please work. I'm not the greatest with it. So there's my little pea in the nose. No, I'm kidding. Also going to pop this in the hollow of my cheek. Oh, it just, look at, ah! <laughs> be careful of this. If you have earrings on, that will like rip your ears. Might magnet it. Um, and then I'm also gonna use it on my jawline, as well as my forehead area. This is quite cool toned. Almost on the verge of being gray, even on my fair skin. So I do wanna warn you of that. So let's go ahead and blend this little puppy in. I'm wondering if I should re-dampen my sponge or if it's gonna be fine. So just blending, blending. I'm bouncing back and forth between the foundation side of my sponge just to kind of sharpen it up. What is your guys' favorite contouring product? Like, if you are, say, somewhere within my skin tone, if you're just a little more fair or light, what is your favorite contouring product that doesn't, like, muck up on you? I'm just curious. I'm gonna take a bit of concealer to correct. I have, like, this like dramatic bonage on the sides of my eyes that kind of creates a shadow when when I contour. So I just wanna even that out. So that doesn't do that. So I just took a little bit of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just gonna clean up the sides of that contour, which I think always looks nice too when you do this, so. I've said before, I think I just don't have the nose shape for nose contouring. I never like how it looks on me, like ever. I do like it on my cheekbone. I think that's a nice little natural shade and back into the hairline and the jawline. Ooh, 
Ooh, you fierce girl. I like that sheet contour. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Next, let's take some linen, which is the creamy colored stick. I'm gonna pop that in the middle of my nose contour. These are a little thick. I think I would do better if they were just a smidgen thinner or almost had like a pencil type of tip. Um, I always really love the Smashbox uh, little contouring sticks because I think they're just, they're the perfect little shape. I'm also gonna run some under my contour. And just a bit through the full head. I wouldn't normally do this much at all, you guys, but I'm just kind of really wanting to play and try it out. Let's do a little on the chin as well. So I'm going to blend this in again. I'm sorry, the my talk is so repetitive. I sound like a broken record. I do really like that it doesn't seem to be removing any of my coverage, do you know what I mean? Sometimes that's like my least favorite part about contouring sticks. I'll like apply them over my foundation and then when I go to blend, I feel like it's all gone, like everything just left. But I don't notice this doing that as much. Now blending in the under eye, which really brightened up well. It's blending beautifully. Oh, I really like the finish of this. And then let's do the little nose. And through the forehead. Again, if you guys have tried this already, I need to know what you think. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what you liked from the collection, what you didn't like. Are you going to try it if you haven't yet? I'm curious. I know I've said it before, but my favorite part of uploading is like right when it goes live and you guys show up with your comments and we're all just chatting and it's just so fun. I just love, I love YouTube. That is a look fam. I freaking like that. I feel like this doesn't look blended on camera, but in person I can hardly see it. But I do see on my little viewfinder there that it is like leaving a nice contour. I think that is gorgeous. So let's take the Star Struck highlighter now along the cheekbone. And I'm gonna do a little above my brow. And we'll do a little on top of the nose as well. I get nervous like layering all these products. Oh crap, I dropped my blender. And now blend that in as well. It's a very subtle shimmer. It does look very natural, which I think could be nice. Or it could be like pointless if you wanted more of an intense highlighter. I'm curious if you guys can, I can't really see this. In person, it's slightly there on my viewfinder. I don't see it at all. So I'm excited to edit this and see what it actually looks like to you guys on camera. Cause right now I really can't tell. To me, it just looks very subtle. I don't know. So that is half my face using the light trio, you guys. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Let's throw some blush on this. So again, I have Radic and Chili Mango. I think I don't want to try Radic. I'm not like into, like super into orange blush tones, but I'm gonna add a little bit of this through here. I probably should have done this first, but I was just trying to like, you know, stay with the theme. Oh, and I did apply that. Look, it like took off everything I had laying down just now, so. Maybe I should have rubbed it with my fingers and, and done it that way. I'm gonna remove this because I don't want that chilling on there. Yeah, let me just actually try it with my finger. It's melting right in. Oh, that blended gorgeously. Just with my finger too, it was really easy to work in. And again, I don't feel like it's lifting up the makeup underneath, which is just exactly what I'm looking for always. I think that's pretty. I hope it doesn't look like Neapolitan ice cream, but in person, I think it looks fine. <laughs> I'll just add a bit of the chili mango. Ooh, it's like super duper orange. Like right in the front, we'll kind of mix them. I love a blushy cheek, you guys know me. That's pretty, I really like chili mango. Oh, it's gorgeous, it's like a beautiful coral. I think that's really nice. The only thing I wasn't super crazy about or that I didn't see much of a difference was the highlighter stick, the starlight or starstruck, I'm sorry. I didn't, I don't see, uh, only on my temple area do I see it kind of showing, but on my cheek, it kind of disappeared. I like that blush though. Ooh. Next, let's jump to this side of my face and try the medium trio, if you will. Okay, so I'm first gonna take the mocha contouring color. I think this will make a great forehead bronzer for me. You guys know forehead bronzing is like a way of life for me. It just changes me, it awakens me. And I'm gonna do this just the same how I did the other side of my face. Oh, I didn't do that on my other side of my face. Damn it, Jane. What did I do? Oh, and then I did this through here. And I'm not gonna put it on my nose because I already know it's gonna be a mess because of personal contouring problems. This actually, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more orange than it is. I actually don't mind this shade. So that's exciting. 
Yeah, it's like not like a hardcore orange. It's just a really beautiful bronze. I think this is lovely. Oh, I really like this, this shade. Wow, I'm really impressed. And again, it's just blending out so beautifully. Even though this foundation's been like kind of chilling on my skin for a few minutes now while I did this side, I think it's blending onto it really very nicely still. So let's go through here and the contour line, jawline. Isn't it funny how you think you'll like one thing? Like I was so sure that the lighter one was going to be my favorite and I almost regretted buying the medium set because I was like, I don't even know if I'll be able to use that much and I'm actually loving the medium set. So I guess that's how I can justify to myself that I bought them both because I was kind of like, damn it Shay, you're never gonna get married if you keep buying all this damn makeup. By the way, I'm getting so many requests for a wedding update, and honestly, there's not much to update you guys on. I'm still just kind of not even really planning. I'm just kind of brainstorming, and unfortunately, Alok's family did have to go back to India. They're going to be there for six months, and it was super unexpected. He unfortunately has an uncle who has cancer, which is just devastating. So his mother went to spend time with him and then also her own mother, so Alok's grandmother, because they're very old and she just needed to spend some time. So they're going to be there about six months, which kind of puts a weird, I don't want to say obstacle, but it, it does change things a bit for us as far as planning goes and how soon we would be doing it. I thought we'd be doing it a little sooner, and now obviously we're not going to because I'd never get married without his family here, even though they just want us to go to the courthouse. They're like, screw the wedding. Like, go to the courthouse. Don't waste your money. I'm like, oh my gosh. If one more person says that to me, I feel like I'm being judged by a lot of people for wanting a wedding because both of our families are just not against that type of stuff, but they, they just want us to be smart and not waste money on a huge wedding. Not even huge, because we don't know that many people. It'd be pretty small, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm really just planning. And since, again, I did say this in another video, but Alok and I are fully paying for the wedding by ourselves. My mom will definitely help out where she can, but also I don't want to take her savings. And like, she has plans. She's living, you know, she's done, she's worked so hard in her life to get to where she is and to enjoy her life. And I don't want to come, and she's paying for my sister's college. Like, I don't want to come in and take all her money for my freaking wedding. That would feel selfish to me. We're paying for it ourselves, so it's going to take us a little bit longer to save for what we want. So that's basically as far as I've gotten. But again, I'm never going to save enough if I keep spending all this damn money on makeup. Now let's take Trippin. The, it's like a highlighter, but it also kind of looks blushy to me. Oh, my little kitty just sneezed. It was adorable. But anyway, you see how it's, it's definitely like lit like a highlighter, but there's that peachy sheen in there. I'm going to atop this right here on my highlight points. Again, these highlighter sticks, they're pretty, but I don't see a real like highlight in them. I really don't. I'm excited to try the powder highlighters. I think those are gonna be killer. But so far, these have been a little like eh to me. This one I actually like better than the other light kit. Wow, the medium kit was just definitely for me, you guys. Again, I think it's just so funny how you swear you're gonna like something, but when you try it, you might be wrong. Yeah, for some reason this one, I just like it better. It's still very subtle. It's a subtle, subtle, subtle glow, which if I'm gonna highlight, I do want more drama because it's like, hello, I'm dramatic, I'm Shay. Okay, let's now try Bamboo, which I know is gonna be too dark as a highlighter for me or as a brightener, but I'm gonna try it regardless. Hey, it doesn't look too light, actually. Wow, I'm really just so wrong about so much. <laughs> So my first impression videos and live swatching videos are bomb because you might think one thing, but you could be wrong. Do you guys remember that line in Mean Girls? I can't remember if she's talking about an outfit or a boy. She's like, I think she says, I think you might like, you could think you might like a guy, but you might be wrong. Because <laughs> this actually looks fine, this bamboo shade. I actually really like it. It's very natural. Oh, I think that's beautiful. Oh, I'm a fan. Oh, I'm a fan. I like this side. I think it's really pretty. Um, I, let's just do the straight. I, I, I kind of made a mistake. I shouldn't have mixed those two blushes. I'm just going to do all of this chili mango now since I already have like a lot of this in the back area is the Redic shade. So I'm just going to take a lot of this and I'm doing it on my finger because that seems to be the way I like to apply this one. And again, it's so funny. I was swearing like I really didn't think I was going to like this chili mango, but it's beautiful. I love chili mango. This is gorgeous. 
So I'm super curious to hear which side you guys like better. Definitely leave that in the comments down below so I can see and just hear, hear your guys' thoughts. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this now so we can use the highlighting powder. I'm just gonna take a very light amount of my ethereal setting powder from Too Faced Cosmetics. So next, let's pop on the highlighters. I'm so excited to try these. I'm gonna start with Metal Moon, which is the white one because I'm just really intrigued by it. I'm like, how is this gonna show up? Because to me, even when I look at it, it doesn't look that shimmery or highlightery. I don't know. So I'm gonna take my little Sigma Beauty F42 fan brush and pop this up here. Oh, oh my gosh, I was so wrong. It is highlighty. It's beautiful. And I did see a video interview of Rihanna saying that she wanted to make the highlighters almost undetectable on your skin, like have such a fine powder that wouldn't chunk up and kind of grab to your skin funny. It would just be a really smooth highlight. And I think that's exactly what she accomplished. That is so pretty to me. Look at that. Look at that. Hello. Hello. I'm glowing to the heavens above. Can you see me down here? No, I'm not a fallen angel. I'm just a glowy bitch. And I'm going to top it on top of that highlighter I left up here. Like, damn, bitch. You so highlighty. I think this is lovely. And it really is so fine. It is such a finely milled highlight. Wow. Wow, Rihanna. <laughs> I am a fan of this one. I never thought I would be. I thought I would regret this, and I don't. That is freaking pretty. Oh my god, I dropped it! I fucking dropped it! Lord, please don't be broken. Oh my god. Please, please. Oh, it's okay. Oh my god, that was scary. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Okay. Next, let's try the Kilowatt highlighter with the duo shades Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'll do, listen, I'm gonna do, so Lightning Dust, which is this one here to me, looks like a finer sheen. This one is like a much higher shine, in my opinion. Just from looking at it, this is Fire Crystal. So I'm gonna try Lightning Dust on my cheek. These are just so finely milled. Like they really do look so, just not like your average highlighter, in my opinion. I love the glow, but I love the subtleness of it. It is so just light and effortless. I'm then gonna take the more metallic one and I'm gonna use this on my temple area right up here. Oh, wow, dauge. That is a high shine, I was totally right. It's nice that you have one in the other. You could do like daytime highlight and then pop a nighttime highlight on. Like bam, 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 that is gorgeous. These are beautiful. I always like a little highlight on my chin. I don't know why. Just makes me feel like an overall glowy biatch. Let's do a little on the lip line. I mean, that is beautiful. I'm taking the more metallic one down my nose. Like, dang, look at that. I feel so happy and glowy right now. I wanna set this all with a spray because that always like transforms my highlighter in my opinion. Oh, dang. I know I sound like a broken record, but this is such a gorgeous highlighter. I love both of them. This one is like fire. This one's intense. I really like the Duo Kilowatt highlighter, but I like this Moonbeam. Is that what it's called? Metal Moon just as much. I thought this was going to be nothing. I might prefer Metal Moon, actually. It's just like, it's almost like a lit from within type of glow. I never would have thought I'd get this type of finish from a powder highlighter. It looks liquid to me, but it's a powder. It's amazing. I'm going to pop on some of the Fenty Glow Gloss, and then we'll talk about everything. It's a big doe foot, isn't it? That's like really big. Smells nice. It is a little tinted. There's a little color in there, which I'm happy to see. I thought it was gonna be totally sheer. Okay, that's a pretty gloss. Dang it, this is the one thing I thought I wasn't gonna like, that I thought was gonna be just average. Not that I think it's anything spectacular, but it's a really pretty shade. It really, it's almost like a your lip color, but better color. It enhanced my lips. It's not tacky. It actually tastes and smells good. I see there's like a very fine amount of shimmer in there. It's just everything is so fine and looks so natural. I'm excited to see the other shades of gloss I'm sure she'll come out with and lipsticks and such because this just feels like, mm, it feels like heaven. It's very smooth. 
You guys, I'm just in shock. I am in shock. I honest to God thought there would be at least a few things that I did not like or that didn't look right on me or didn't show up enough because I am so fair, especially this metal moon. Like I thought this was gonna be a waste of money to be honest with you, but it's beautiful. And I do just have to say, and not in a shady way at all, I respect everyone in the beauty industry, I really do. I did see some influencers talking on Twitter about how everyone's gonna love this collection because it's by Rihanna and no one wants to upset Queen Riri. I disagree, I think this actually truly was like almost a breakthrough in the beauty community, especially when it comes to celebrity makeup. I actually just got a bunch of the Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder makeup collection, which I haven't used that. I'm gonna film that next, so I can't compare it to, you know, another celebrity collection. But I will say, as far as celebrity makeup collections have gone, they have been lackluster in the past, or they've been something kind of generic, which people say they just throw their um, name on it and then they sell it because of the name. I honestly disagree. I really have to disagree. I think everything in this collection is just beautiful. It's unlike any other makeup that I have. I think it just, it, it looks so gorgeous on the skin. The highlighters are great. The foundation is beautiful. I just, I, I, I even like the freaking lip gloss and that's not something that really blows my skirt up very often, but I do think it's really pretty. And again, I don't think it's necessarily anything super unique, but it is just a gorgeous natural color and I think it's gonna look beautiful on everybody which is also great you guys of course have to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what did you think of the items you've tried and is there anything you've decided to pick up from watching my video like that totally interests me and I'd love to hear your guys's feedback so please leave me a comment down below say hi let me know your thoughts I'm gonna of course wear this around today and I will do a follow-up video or in my next video I'll talk about how I liked it or how it wore you can also follow me on snapchat Twitter or Instagram that's where a lot of times I do my follow-ups on products. I still have to follow up on this foundation too, the Peach Perfect by Too Faced. I'll just say it real quick in this video. I wore this to Fashion Week this week in New York City, which by the way, if you've never been running around New York City, it's a sweaty, messy time and the air is different. Everything is different there. I was backstage, which was super duper hot at a fashion show, watching everyone get ready. It was so hot, it was so cramped. I know I was probably touching my face a lot because I do that when I'm nervous. I then went to the fashion show, which was so cool, and then I went home. This lasted through all of it. It looked perfect, it looked flawless, and I. Was actually getting compliments from the other like makeup artists there who were doing the runway makeup. A few of them were curious as to what foundation I was wearing and it, it was Peach Perfect by Too Faced. So I just did my first impressions on that. I loved the foundation in the video and I do have to say it wore so well during that crazy day. So if it worked during that day, I bet it would work anytime. The only problem is, is that there is fragrance in it. And I know some of you said it had irritated your face. So that might be something you wanna bear in mind if you are sensitive to fragrance. But anyway, you guys, that's really all I have to say about this collection. I really loved all of the products. I 100% see myself repurchasing a bunch of these because again I did buy these myself. I did not, I was not sent these or anything. Um, and I could see myself rebuying the highlighters, for sure the foundation, and even the trio sticks. It's funny because like I was saying, I thought the light set would be my favorite, but it turns out the medium set was 100% my favorite. I think it gave me the needed warmth I need in my skin to look alive. This one, though it is nice, it's a little too pale and ashy for me. It's I just like a little more color. I like a little more bronze. So I think I really preferred the medium set and everything in it worked for me. I just think it's lovely. The only things I, again, wasn't crazy about, I guess, would be the highlighter sticks in Trippin and in Starstruck. They just were very not there to me and it, they probably wanted to get more of a natural just you know, glow to the skin. It's probably not supposed to be anything intense, but for me, I would just rather skip that and go straight to a powdered highlighter like one of these because it did everything that I wanted. I, I seldomly want a hardly there highlighter. Um, so yeah, I probably would skip those. I'm gonna try and use those again and work them into my routine somehow. But yeah, you guys, that's my thoughts on this collection. Again, please let me know your thoughts. And if there's anything I didn't purchase in this collection that you guys think I would love, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm always interested in your recommendations. Seriously, I buy a ton of things you guys tell me to buy. Thank you for watching this video today. Let me know your thoughts and don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I love you guys. Thank you for watching today and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.